shrimp and potatoes, shrimp burger, shrimp sandwich. That's, that's about it. Hey, what's going on, good people? JPC Gang. Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, it's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Today, we're doing a po' boy. Fri fried. Pan fried. Deep fried. Stir fried. Fried shrimp po' boy with the crispification that's gonna be pillowy on the inside. Smack delicious. Going down to Nolan. That way. Fried shrimp, shrimp, grilled shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. With the crispification and all that. A po' boy sandwich. This is another episode of Let's Eat 32. Let's go, baby. What's going on, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cook. That's right, it's your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Listen, we're going down to Nolan today. I'm taking it all the way down to the Gulf because we're doing a fried shrimp po' boy. Typically a po' boy consists of French bread, yeah, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and some mayonnaise or some type of dressing on it. We're gonna switch it up a little bit because it's JPC gang all the way, baby. So listen, we going coleslaw. To make a coleslaw dressing, let's get about a half a cup of the whip, the Miracle Whip. Half a cup of Miracle Whip, that much. A tablespoon of sugar, freshly cracked black pepper, teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, and this is where we kicking it up a notch, baby. Quarter teaspoon of Old Bay. Y'all must have thought I forgot. Don't tell me it's not in there. Where is my magic dust, man? I'm out of the magic dust. Be right back, gotta go get some magic dust. Hi, right, it's back. Full like it never left. BigSmokiesBBQ.com for your magic dust, baby. We're going with one pen. Can't do it without it. I mean, JPC gang, listen. If you ain't got the magic dust, you know where to go get it. If you ain't got it today, just keep moving. We're gonna, we're gonna, I don't see it, all right? Listen, and to that, quarter teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, another half teaspoon apple cider vinegar. Right after that, we're coming in with a tablespoon of milk. Use your favorite milk from your favorite cow. That's the milk we're using, though. Give everything a whisk. It's gonna be the best po' boy you can find, baby, outside of Nolan's. <laughs> all right, JPC gang, let me taste this right quick. Mm-hmm, that's just right. Perfecto. I went ahead and straightened up some cabbage. You know all about that. Nothing too spectacular, just straighten some cabbage. Get that in the bowl. A cup of straighted cabbage, thinly sliced sweet onion. Right there, your onion. Half a cup. Let's add our dressing in. Leave none of this behind, we need all of it. We're going in with some kosher stuff. Give it a mix. We want to let all these flavors marinate, come together, everything come to life. If it looks good, smell good, it's going to taste good. Cover it up, get it in the fridge, let that marinate. I'll fry some shrimp, guys. Let's go, baby. We gotta dress these shrimps. These things here is what's gonna make this sandwich delicioso. We finna put the crispification on them. We not gonna overcook them. We don't want them rubbery. None of that. No base ability. We gonna need one egg cracked in a bowl, beaten. One egg, beat. These are 4160. They measure shrimp by the size. The smaller the number, the bigger the shrimp. We gonna load this sandwich up so we went with 4160 today. Peeled and deveined. Got all the shit out of there. Nothing left, nothing left over. We got one cup of cornmeal, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, half a cup of uh, cornstarch. We gonna add one teaspoon of magic dust. BigSmokeyBBQ.com for your magic dust. A tablespoon Old Bay. A teaspoon SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. Give it a mix. This is what we dusting them shrimp now. Let's get the shrimp down. Going in, one beaten egg, teaspoon of Old Bay, teaspoon of Magic Dust, teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Give it a mix. It's simple, but it's elevated. It's not the same. We ain't got access to the golf down there where these boats coming in and bringing this fresh shrimp every day. So we keep some frozen on deck. They throw out real nice. We got fresh shrimp in the marinade and we are gonna hit it with the dust. Typically on the po' boy, traditional po' boy, we gonna have lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and some mayo. We got some typical vegetables. We got a pickle and some maters here, baby. Let's get them chopped up. We got some oil coming up in the temperature. We're gonna bread the shrimp, pop them and drop them. You know how we do, JPC gang. Golden, brown, and delicious. I'm gonna slice this pickle on the bias, basically with a slant. And that's just mostly for presentation. You're not making no little boy sandwich yet. It's grown man business. <laughs> Roman tomatoes. We got us some veggies sliced and chopped for this sandwich. Typically, we use French bread. We went the extra mile, no base ability. 
We got fresh bread bacon in the oven. I'm gonna leave a link to that video. You can do the same thing. We not basic, JPC gang, at all. Let's fry some shrimp, baby. We got shrimp out the Frigidaire, ice cold shrimpy, straight out the marinade, and to the bread. Typically, you wanna, you know, do a wet hand, dry hand, but everything gonna be okay, man. Just get it in there. Give it a big push, a big mash for the crispification factor. Shake most of the access off, let's see where we at. Oh yeah, we cooking, baby. Let's get them down in the oil. We just want to really color. Shrimp don't take too long to fry up, no way. But who wants overcooked shrimp? Do not overcook the shrimp, baby. This oil is at about 350. We not going, we not looking for a certain temperature or anything like that, because you know, we eat sushi, baby. You can eat shrimp, shrimp raw if you want. At this point, you're looking for a golden brown and delicious. Three to five minutes on this batch. We gonna drop the next batch, get them off, pull up some bread out, baby. We down in Nolan, eating po' boys with Chef Ray Mr. Money. We fried them shrimps up, got them golden, crispy. It's time to put this po' boy together. We got the fresh, crispy on the outside with the crispification, airy on the inside. This is what I wanna do. I wanna just take the edge off, not that close, just take the edges off, square them up just a little bit. Take him off, take him off. Yeah, just like that. You can see it's soft on the inside. And on the inside, that bread just pillowy. It's soft. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's come aside, come right across. Make us a, put a cut. Make you a cut straight through there. That bread hot, fresh out the oven. APC gang, gang, gang. Check this out. You know the slaw we made. The marinade has got the onions, crispification with the vegetations in there. Let's get some of that down. Get that down just like this, make a bed of it. You ain't gotta go heavy, but you do got to go. You know we coming with the equal pickle. Yeah, we put one more pickle on there. You got to have the maters. It wouldn't be the same without the maters. Look at here, we not gonna play no game. Stack it up high, baby. Get these shrimps down. This ain't a pretty job, but somebody got to do it. Look at that. We missing one thing, JPC game. We ain't got the Louisiana hot sauce, but we got to have hot sauce on this thing. <laughs> Look at that, hold on, come here, don't do that. Don't do that, get back over here. Get back over here, don't be like that. Look at lot of stuff full of them fried shrimp. We got that coleslaw, tomatoes, that fresh bread. Thank the Lord for this. Thank the Lord for this. I'll do the hunch on this one, come here. Mm, mm, mm. JPC game. You got the crispification, soft and airy, creamy, cold, hot, spicy, a little sweet and tangy. This is the one you have to try. Quarantine Smarantine. You don't need to go to the store for this. I'll leave a link down below where you can order this, everything in this video. But I want the gang to try this out. This is one that's gonna lift your spirits up. We praying, we washing our hands, we stand, get back. Quarantine right now, make sure you're doing social distance. I appreciate y'all for watching. I thank you for watching. It's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Right now, I want you to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell if you like this great content. And leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you think. What should I cook next? Until next time, it's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Peace and love.